Hey guys, Jobwise Jones here. This is from Catherine asking me today, Jobwise, what are some good leadership traits of medical assistants? Well, good question there, Catherine. But before we go into that, throughout my years of being, um, when I was a medical assistant and being in hospitals and clinics, it's easy to see the MAs who are leaders and the ones who are not. And that's okay because not everybody is a leader and not everybody can be a leader and not everybody is supposed to be a leader. But she's asking, what are some traits, right? So let's get right down to this video. You guys know I hate to waste time. So the first thing I see all the time with medical assistants who are good leaders, they have a high standard of ethics, you know? And, and you say, what does that mean, job wise? It means that the way they dress, you know, always sharp, you know, clean, nice outfit, out, nice scrubs, right? The tire is always just there, you know, perfect almost, you know? Calm voice, always talk factual with a good grasp of medical terminology the good eye-to-eye -eye contact when talking to people you know the kindness is there right <clears throat> and they always under that umbrella of high standard of ethics they always lead by example meaning that they are walking their talk the, that is one of the most obvious signs of a good ma who is also a leader okay number two active listener right today i hear so many people say okay yeah 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 okay yeah 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 everybody says that sometimes i do it myself i just want to keep on with the conversation okay a good medical assistant leader is an active listener and when you're actively listening you don't have time to say yeah 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 why because you cannot input it out at the same time only one can happen at a time right so if you're an active listener, being the medical assistant leader, you're listening, understand. Okay, so what you said, see what I'm doing? You're repeating back to the patient or the doctor or your colleague, whatever, but you're an active listener. If if you're talking to me, I'm saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not, you're not a leader. You're probably with the other 99% of the population, which is fine, of course, right? because not everybody is a leader, okay? So while you're saying, or I'm saying, yeah, 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 the MA who's a leader is listening actively, okay? Big deal, guys, okay? Number three, seek opportunities when you can, right? Leaders always do this. Leaders are always trying to improve themselves, you know? I've got three actual books on my desk right now. I'm always trying to find something to do in my community to volunteer, to get involved, right? That's what's important. You have to do more <laughs> than just work your eight to four, nine to five, whatever, go home and you're done. Because the active, the, the, the leaders are always looking for classes, right? Maybe free classes. Even YouTube classes are great too, right? Something that encourages constant improving education and intellect, right? Leaders leaders are always thought of intelligent people, right? The only way you get intelligent is to keep on adding to your intelligence, right? If you're working 8 to 5, go home and you're watching TV or playing games till 12 o'clock at night, you're not absorbing anything new. You're not changing anything within your character, within your intelligence. You're just being the same person you were on Monday. You're now being the same person to work on Tuesday. If you go home again and watch games again till 12 o'clock at night, same person on Wednesday, right? A leader, though, a leader medical assistant goes home on a Monday, maybe takes in half an hour of, oh, okay, that's how you do the calculations for some kind of injection, right? Oh, this is the new medication coming out. Wake up on Tuesday. They're already a new person, right? Go home on Tuesday night, correct? Oh, this is what you meant by understanding the patients and their emotions. Oh, okay. Another video, right? Understanding the angry, the angry patient and how to handle them. Okay, two hours of learning, right? Go into Wednesday. You understand? The active, the, the medical assistant leader is always evolving, always evolving, always evolving and changing and getting better. And people can feel this when they talk in the clinic, when they answer questions, their behavior, because they are always actively trying to improve themselves, right? But the other 99%, and it's okay to be part of the 99%, right? <laughs> if you think of a vehicle, there can only be one driver. That's the medical assistant who's a leader. 
The other parts of the vehicles are the other MAs who are just part of the system, you know? We're just doing our best and doing what we can, you know? We're not even really interested in improving ourselves or whatever, whatever, right? But the leadership medical assistant is the one driving the car. So they're the ones that are always trying to improve. So if you want to be this leadership person too, you guys start adding value to who you are, value to you as a person, as a medical assistant in your clinic, understand? You want to start picking up things that you need. A little bit of educational tidbits, you know, watching a video. You don't want to know a good one too, guys. I do it all the time. I volunteer, you know. I like to go to school, tech schools, whatever, and talk about different topics of interviewing, different topics of how to get a job. You know, that's what I do. I charge a lot of money though, free, you know. So I give back. And so if you're thinking about going down this leadership path as a medical assistant, you too want to figure out how can you give back to your community as well, okay? It's always the best. I want to tell you guys too, a big one for leaders today in the 21st century is a sense of compassion, right? If you see a patient who everybody in the clinic knows is a pain in the butt, you know, and they kind of laugh at the patient sometimes when they're gone, right? That happens. Laugh at the patient when they're gone. If you're the one standing out to the side, not joining the group, ha ha, he he, and you're standing out to the side, you just try to reflect upon what it must be like for that patient, right? It's easy when we say, oh, that patient is just crazy and we, and we, and we blow, blow them all, eh, who cares? But you know, as a leader, maybe that patient really is crazy. And then you use your compassion and you think about what must it be like to wake up in that world in their brain every day to be a crazy person trying to function amongst so many people who are not crazy. That's how a leader thinks. A leader is away from the crowd, not laughing. <laughs> a leader is thinking about the other. That's what leaders do. They think about the other with a compassionate framework in mind. 99% of that clinic is going to be laughing at the patient. Ha ha, he he, she's crazy, he's crazy. Ha ha, what an idiot, ha ha. Leaders don't do that. They look at the other with compassion. You understand that? So if you want to go down this road of being the leader in the medical assistant field, or any field actually, this is part of what you have to deal with because you're going to stand by your own sometimes and not follow the crowd. Understand? That's what it's all about. Okay? Last one for you, Catherine. You talked about being a leader in the medical assistant field. Self-discipline. So what does that mean? It means you're there a little bit early every day, right? It means you stay until that clock hits 5, 5.10, 5.15, right? You take your breaks, when you take your breaks, you take your lunch, when you take your lunch, right? If you have to take care of phone calls to pass the time of your time you're off, say you got phone calls, you got 20 calls to make, it's already 4.55, you stay and make those calls. That's self-discipline. You discipline yourself to your profession, which is the medical assistant field. Now, I was there for, for some years. I remember MAs going home and not making those phone calls after the clinic closed because the clinic closed. You know, they, they couldn't do it. Okay, whatever. You know, I was there too when people were laughing sometimes, whatever. I was there for that stuff too. But a leader, a leader medical assistant has a lot of self-discipline. They're early, stay until they're done. Don't cheat on their lunches. Don't cheat on their breaks. Part of the group to help build the group up. You know, self-discipline, right? A leader medical assistant is obvious, you know. Here's the old adage. People say leaders are born. They're not born. No leader is ever born. You learn how to be a leader from other mentors or people you've made mentors in your life, you know. That's how you become a leader. My pathway, my father was incredible. You know, for my leadership, I was also a military policeman in the Air Force, uh, city planner. You know, these are all individual type careers. You know, you got to have a lot of self-confidence, you know, <laughs> and so that kind of builds it, you know. So, but I wasn't born like that. I was picking up on good behaviors of leaders around me. And that's why, Catherine, I made this list for you today, because I want you to really think about that path. You want to become this leader you talk about. I believe you can or anybody else out there can. 
But sometimes, you guys, the leadership path to being a leader is a lonely one. And so you're probably thinking, what do you mean by that, John, job wise? Because a leader, when they complain, <laughs> they have to have a confidential person to complain it, complain to. The reason why leaders don't complain to the group in mass. Hey, everybody, I got this. Product. No, a leader handles themselves professionally. They may go home to the loved one and says, oh my gosh, what a day at work today, blah, blah, blah. No problem, right? A leader is always separate from the crowd because the crowd looks to them to lead. Understand? That's what a leader is all about. They're the ones who are that shining light when it's dark. They're the ones people come to for information. They're the ones, the boss says, this MA over here is sharp. Always on top of it. Always trying to learn new things. Gets along well with everybody else makes good decisions based on compassion and logic. That's what a leader is, okay? All right, you guys, I just want to tell you about leadership and being a medical assistant. I love talking to all you guys on my videos. I really enjoy the comments and all the emails I get. I get a lot of nice emails, you know? So thank you for that as well. You guys take care and please subscribe and 